in this video i will explain you the power of a spherical lens okay or simply a lens so i have different lens one in this way and one is in this way and another one in this way power is nothing but the bending power of lens so when the rays are coming parallel towards a lens convex lens or spherical lens has a property to focus these rays after refraction at a common point this point is nothing but focus so after refraction at lens these parallel incident rays would pass through a common point and this is simply focus now this lens after see these parallel rays when they approach the lens after refraction at lens these rays are refracted okay after refraction these rays would concentrate or intersect at a common point and that is nothing but focus but see for this lens it took only very short distance to bring to uh, to focus all the rays after refraction to a common point but in this case it took bit longer length to focus at a common point right and in this case rays would come in this way and that is focused at a very short distance compared to this okay this is almost equal but compared to this the focal length is very less this is the focal length here and here this is the focal length so this is having a smaller focal length and this is having an intermediate focal length and this is having a large focal length so the significance is whenever rays are coming parallel to the principal axis this takes longer distance to concentrate them to one common point this take comparatively shorter and this is taking the short very shortest distance to focus all the parallel rays after refraction at a common point so the power of a lens is simply the bending power of a lens so these incident ray are now bent by a small angle but here in this case has bent by a larger angle here in this case a largest angle so this was supposed to go in this direction so now it is being bent now this was this ray was supposed to go in straight direction now that is being bent by an angle so this is theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 now this was supposed to go in this direction this is now bent to another direction so higher is the bending higher is the bending power higher would be the power of lens so we have seen here that smaller is the focus larger is the bending power right for that reason i have drawn this picture to bring you that idea when the focus length increases power sorry decreases power increases so for power has been defined as inverse of focal length so focal length is measured in meter so the dimension of power would be 1 by l or nothing but l power minus 1 or unit would be so this is dimension mention and the unit is meter inverse or this is called as diopter yeah diopter now for a convex lens we know that focal length is measured from the principal axis in forward direction or in rightward direction so for a convex lens power would be positive point number one convex lens convex lens has positive positive power reason is it has positive since it has positive focal length but in the case of concave lens if this is concave lens now if parallel rays are coming 
after refraction that would go in this direction and they you know appear to come come from a common point so this is the focal length and the focal length is measured in left toward direction so focal length will become negative so for concave concave lens concave lens has negative power since it has negative focal length okay these are very important what is power P power is 1 by f now is that value always positive no for convex it is positive for concave it is negative now you are spectacles those who use spectacle they would be knowing that the lens is provided with some power so that will be having a sign in front of plus 1.2 or minus 1.2 plus 2.25 minus 0.25 so if it is plus then that is convex lens if it is minus then that is concave lens okay thank you